Hi, and welcome to this lecture on EC2 instances purchasing options. So we've been using so far on-demand EC2 instances. They allow us to run instances on demand. That means they're good for short workloads. We get predictable pricing and we're going to pay by the second. But if you have different kind of workloads, you can optimize your discounts and your pricing by specifying it to AWS. For example, you can use reserved instances and you have one year or three years term and they're meant for long workloads. So if you know you're going to run a database for a long time, then a reserved instance is great. And if you want to have a flexible instance type, so for example, you want to change the instance type over time, then convertible reserved instances are for you. And by the way, don't worry, I'm going to do a deep dive in all of those over time. Okay, next we have savings plan. And savings plan are one and three years term. And they're more modern because instead of committing to a specific instance type, you commit to a specific amount of usage in dollars, and they're again for long workloads. Spot instances instead are meant for very short workloads. They're very, very cheap, but at any time you can lose these instances and that makes them less reliable. Dedicated host allows you to book an entire physical server and control instance placements. And dedicated instances means that no other customers will share your hardware. Finally, capacity reservations allow you to reserve capacity in a specific AZ for any duration. Now let's look at EC2 on demand. So you're going to pay for what you use. So that means that if you're using Linux or Windows, you're going to be getting a billing per second after the first minute, or for all the other operating systems, you're going to get a billing per hour. It has the highest cost, but no upfront payments and no long-term commitments. That means it's definitely recommended for a short-term and uninterrupted workload where you cannot predict how the application will behave. Now for reserved instances, and by the way, the numbers I show you can change over time, so I will not update this video every time, but it gives you an idea of what the numbers can be. So the reserved instances give you a 72% discount compared to on-demand, and you reserve a specific instance attribute. For example, the instance type, the region, the tenancy, and the OS. You specify a reservation period, one year or three years to get even more discounts, and whether or not you want to pay upfront, partially upfront, or not upfront. And all upfront, of course, gives you the maximum amount of discounts. In terms of the scope, do you want the scope to be into a specific region or a zone? That means reserve capacity in a specific AZ. And so you would use reserved instances for the steady state usage applications, for example, for a database. And you can buy or sell your reserved instances in a marketplace if you don't need them anymore. And there is a specific kind of reserved instances called the convertible reserved instance, which is allowing you to change the instance type, the instance family, the operating system, the scope, and the tenancy. And because you have more flexibility, well, you get a bit less discount. You get up to 66% discounts. So that's for reserved instances. And now you have the EC2 savings plans, which is to allow you to get a discount based on long-term usage, which is the same 70% as reserved instances. But instead, you're going to say, I want to spend $10 per hour for the next one, two, three years. And any usage beyond the savings plan is going to be billed at the on-demand price. So with savings plans, you're locked to a specific instance family and region. For example, you say, I want to have M5 type of instance family in US East 1. But you're flexible across the instance size, so you can have M5 X large, M5 2 X large, and so on. The OS, so you can switch between Linux and Windows and so on. And the tenancy, you can switch between host, dedicated, and default. Now for spot instances, they have the most aggressive discounts, so up to 90% discounts compared to on-demand. But they are instances you can lose at any point of time because you define a max price you're willing to pay for your spot instances. And if the spot price goes over it, then you're going to lose it. So they're the most cost efficient instances in AWS, and they're going to be very helpful if you have a workload that is resilient to failure. So what could they be? Well, it could be batch jobs, data analysis, image processing, any kind of distributed workloads or workloads that have a flexible start and end time. They're not suited for critical jobs or databases, and the exam will test you on that. Next, we have dedicated hosts. So you get an actual physical server with EC2 instances capacity fully dedicated to your use case. And you want to have dedicated host in the use case of you have compliance requirements or you need to use your existing server-bound software licenses 
that it has a billing based on a per socket, per core, per VM software licenses. This is in these kind of use cases that you need to access the physical server and get a dedicated host. So for dedicated host, you get on demand, and you're going to get paid per second, or you can reserve them for one or three years. They're the most expensive option of AWS because you actually reserve a physical server. And so again, a use case is when you have a license, uh, a, a, a software that comes with a licensing model that is bring your own license, or if you have a company that has strong reg regulatory or compliance needs. We also have dedicated instances, and they're instances that runs on hardware that's dedicated to you, which is different from the physical server. But you may share the hardware with other instances in the same accounts, and you have no control over instance placements. So there's a difference between dedicated instances and host that is here. At the exam, honestly, it doesn't trick you into one or the other. But remember that dedicated instances mean that you have your own instance on your own hardware, whereas dedicated host, you get access to the physical server itself, and it gives you visibility into the lower level hardware. Next, we have capacity reservations for EC2. So you can reserve on-demand instances in a specific AZ for any duration. And then you get access to that capacity whenever you need it. You have no time commitment, so you can reserve capacity or cancel your reservation at any time and no billing discounts. The only purpose is to reserve capacity. So if you want to get billing discounts, you need to combine it with regional reserved instances or your savings plan. And you're charged at the on-demand rate whether or not you run instances. So that means that your reserve capacity, you're going to be paid for it, billed for it, and you know for sure that if you want to launch instances, they're going to be available. But if you don't launch them, you're still going to get charged. So they're very suitable for short-term uninterrupted workloads that need to be in a specific AZ. So it gets difficult to understand which purchasing option is right for me, especially if you are a beginner. But let me give you a summary. The first one is on-demand. So we'll take a resort as an analogy. And with on-demand, you have a resort and you come in whenever you like, and whenever you like, you pay the full price. For reserved, well, you like to plan ahead and you know you're going to stay a very long time in your resort, one to three years, and then you're going to get a good discount because we know you're going to stay a long time. Savings plan is saying, hey, I know for sure that in my resort, I'm going to spend a specific amount. So I'm going to spend maybe $300 per month every month for the next 12 months. And therefore, you may want to choose, uh, change the room type over time. So king, suite, sea view, and so on. But the savings plan is saying, hey, you're going to commit to a specific spending in your hotel. Spot instances are whenever the hotel runs a very last minute discounts because they have empty rooms and they want to attract people. So they get empty rooms and people bid on getting this empty room. And so you get very, very discounts. Uh, but in this specific resort, well, you can get kicked out at any time if someone is willing to pay more uh, for your room than what you did. Okay, but <laughs> I don't want to stay in such a resort. Dedicated host is saying, hey, I want to book the entire building of the resort. So you get your own hardware, your own resort. And then capacity reservation is saying, I'm going to book a room. I'm not even sure if I don't stay in, but I know that if I want to stay in, I will have it. And you will pay full price for booking that room nonetheless. In terms of price comparison, I've just put together this table to give you one example at one point of time. So I took an M4 large in US East 1, and the on-demand price is 10 cents, but then the spot price is going to be up to, for example, 61% off in my example. Then if you want to reserve your instance, as you can see, you have different pricing if you wanted to have one year for three years and pay no upfront or all upfront. Same for the EC2 savings plan. We see that it is the same as the reserved instance discounts. We also get reserved convertible instances, and we have dedicated host, which is at the on-demand price, the dedicated host reservation, which is up to 70% off because you reserve your host, and capacity re reservation, again, at the on-demand price. So the exam will ask you to just know which type of instance is the right one based on your workloads, and by now, you should have some good hints, and don't worry, we will practice this over time. All right, that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next lecture.